Our next guest has grown up with a family of entertainers. Her father became a household name for playing Richie Cunningham in the sitcom Happy Days, and she is paving her own way in showbiz and is a writer and accomplished actress. Her latest role takes her into space in the Nickelodeon series, The Astronauts. I'd like to welcome Paige Howard to Sidewalks. Thank you so much for being here today, Paige. Ah, uh, thank you, I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, 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 oh my gosh. Paige, I, it, it was a little confusing at first. I, you have a twin sister. <laughs> I do have a twin sister, I do. Her name's Jocelyn <laughs> and she's wonderful. Oh my gosh, do you guys ever get, they, they confuse you at all, <laughs> meeting people? <laughs> We, you know what? We actually look very different. I mean, our, our whole family looks quite similar because my parents look like siblings. So we all look really yeah. similar. Um, but, but actually in our family, I think Jocelyn and I probably look the most different. Um, so we don't get confused that much. She's very, she's very, <laughs> you know, short and just, she's like a little fairy. <laughs> well, you all are definitely into showbiz, it seems like. Well, some of you are. This, and that's kind of what yeah. I wanted to kind of start off with before we get into the astronauts. Um, maybe we can flash back a little bit with you. Um, yeah. I'm wondering, did you, did you, um, you know, obviously growing up with your family and your father and your mother, um, did acting kind of call out to you? Was it your first calling or was it, what was it that like ultimately influenced you or inspired you to pursue acting? Well, I mean, I think that th this isn't the most romantic perspective, but, um, but yeah, I think, you know, when you're raised in a family that the norm is the entertainment industry, which is not everyone in my family, but it's the, the vast majority. Um, yeah. the, my, my first calling was, was to be an actress. And I, I knew at a very young age that that's what I wanted to pursue. Um, and I had a, you know, a, a lot of, you know, good, good people to talk to about that around me. So, um, so yeah, when I, I was younger, I, I wanted to be an actress. I went to NYU Tisch and, and I did that. And then I, in my twenties, I rebelled against that a little bit. And I took a couple of years and I wanted to, you know, go into the workforce and, and try like a typical nine to five and, um, and see how that felt. And, uh, and it was really, really great. And I loved it, but it did ultimately just reaffirm my passion for acting. So, um, so now I'm, I'm home, I'm back. <laughs> That's craziness. So wait, wait, what did you do before getting into acting? What was the other job? Uh, I worked at actually for a couple of years, the Bowery Hotel. So I worked in hospitality and that was something I thought about for a while. I was like, you know, maybe, um, maybe I would want to have my own little bed and breakfast somewhere. And that's something maybe down the road that I'll explore. But, but ultimately, you know, I just, um, I, you just feel the call and and while I was working it was a, a great job and I learned a lot but I still I still That's had so that cool. aching to 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 work on on um, projects as an actress so and a writer That's so awesome you should you should if that ever happens you should call it happy days Ooh, <laughs> the happy That's day so hotel. good actually Oh my gosh oh, I'm That's just saying so good. <laughs> That's so clever I'm I'm <laughs> <laughs> Such a cheese ball I am. <laughs> and, but so no, cute. really, Paige. It's um, so cute. <laughs> I mean, it could totally be possible. Anything's possible. I so. mean, come to my, my bed and breakfast, happy days, and you'll have happy days. <laughs> for, for for real. <laughs> I'm down. I'll, I'm going to go. So. <laughs> well, yes, Paige, I, oh my I'm gosh. counting I mean, on it. I'm counting on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, I'm going to say I, I, I kind of inspired that. So. Um, yes, you well, did. I'm, I'm a... That thought has never entered my mind until now. So thank you. That, thank you for that. <laughs> well, <laughs> speaking of inspiration, you're obviously your dad and your mom, you know, they're, they're, they're definitely probably been some examples for you. Do you ever get some coaching or acting, acting lessons um, from them or advice? Yeah, I absolutely, all the time, all the time. Um, you know, we're, like we don't overly advise each other, but we're, you know, between my dad, Bryce, um, my uncle, uh, and then my grandparents when they were alive, you know, we, we share tips all the time, you know, like we're, we're constantly yeah. running lines with each other and, um, why not, you know, who wouldn't, yeah. who, who wouldn't, <laughs> um, you're learning but, yeah, from the best. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and it's fun. But we're also, I will say though, we're also really good about maintaining boundaries, you know, like not not overly yeah. advising or not, you know, 
giving a bunch of unsolicited advice. So, uh, and right. I think that that's what keeps our familial relationships really strong. And, you know, um, you know, that's we respect cool. each other a lot and we trust each other. So. No, that's awesome. That's good to know. Cause you guys kind of find that balance with each other and you're like, okay, let her, let her figure yeah. it out on her own. And you know, she can figure it out. <laughs> that's um, right. I that's had a exactly fan right. <laughs> <laughs> I had a fan question that I wanted to ask before we get into the astronauts. Um, somebody had asked me, oh, you have to ask Paige this. Did, did she ever watch any of their shows or movies growing up? And if so, what was your favorite if you had any? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, we are huge. I mean, obviously, we love Happy Days and, you know, all, but, but the biggie in our household has always been the Andy Griffith show. For as long as I can oh. remember, that has been a staple in our home. And um, my mom still watches it to fall asleep at night, you know? And, uh, <laughs> and, you know, and I turn it on. I turn it on at least like once a month, I'll, I'll watch it just because it's comforting and it's such a good show. It's such a good show. It <laughs> is. <laughs> those are one of those shows that you wish they made more of nowadays. <laughs> I know, I know. So. It's, it's really good for the heart. It's good for the heart. But I feel <laughs> that way about the astronauts too, to be honest. You know, when I got, in, when yeah. I got involved, one of the things that attracted, attracted me to it was just um, how, like, I feel like it, it's so heart centric. And Nickelodeon is so good at doing that, you know? Um, and, and this show is, is no different. Well, Paige, now you get to work with your father, Ron Howard, in the Nickelodeon series, The Astronauts. You have an interesting role as the spacecraft's AI system. Uh, what made you interested in this role and in the series? Well, um, this, was a, this was a leap for me a little bit because I have for a long time been really interested in getting into more voice work. Um, and then oh. this came along and I, I really wanted to audition. I loved the writing and I loved that it was a space adventure. Um, and then I loved that it was with, with Nickelodeon and Imagine. So I went for it and I got it. So once I got the part, it was just kind of about deep diving and sort of seeing what I wanted to do with it. And, um, and, and then learning, learning a bit about my own, um, my own craft as, as an actress and as an artist um, and sort of how to kind of move that and, and use my voice in a way that I, 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 I haven't before, you know, I'm a very physical actress, so it yeah. was, it had its own set of challenges, but it was a lot of fun. And it, and it was, um, it honestly, it's been a great education for me in and of itself. Yeah, I was going to say voiceover is definitely a different uh, ball game. Like there's so much more intricacies to being a voice of a character um, and a, yeah. a lot more things that you have to think of. <laughs> Yeah, it really is, like you said, a, a different ball game. It really, really is. Um, but it's it's so much fun. And there's something that I find uh, find quite liberating about it, honestly. You know, when you're when you're sort of in this in a sound studio, or in my case, in like my padded closet in my New York City apartment, <laughs> um, <laughs> I you know, like you 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 sort of work with it a little bit and you're like, wait, this is kind of, you're figuring it out. And then once you get there, there's just kind of a channel that opens up and it, it's, um, it's like a totally different kind of expression. It's really fantastic. Yeah. And what's really awesome too, is to see the group of kids that had some stellar roles in this. Did you get to meet and work with, uh, these talented kids? I have not met them in person, uh, yet, okay. but, I am fangirling them all over the place because I think they're all so talented. They were sending me the <laughs> footage and, um, and, uh, and then I would just lay down the tracks with the producers and the directors here in, in New York City because of quarantine and everything. Um, but, uh, but I'm looking forward to meeting them. They do a fantastic, fantastic job. Every one of those kids are just so, so good. So, so strong and talented. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, so it, I, I wanted to mention that, you know, The Astronauts is one of the first productions for Imagine Kids plus Family, which your father, Ron Howard, has helped form. I wonder for you, what's it like to see your dad continuing to create his projects? And do you guys usually collaborate and create projects together now? Um, well, you know, I, I am working on a little pro another little project with my dad and my uncle. Um, and that's really fun. And I'm, I'm not going to say too much about that because I don't know what I can and can't say. Um, but, uh, <laughs> that's okay. but, but that's been really fun. 
You know, my dad, my dad has always been and will always be a great inspiration to me because he is so committed oh. to, um, to, to his craft and, um, and to, to, to making material for people that he feels will be impactful and, um, and positive and constructive. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a great privilege to, to work with him and, um, and just to, to watch, you know, to watch him grow and watch him continue to grow. So. Yeah. And as you continue to grow Paige, before we let you go, what is it that you are setting out to accomplish as an actress? Kind of what's your intention with acting? I want to just keep, keep on going. And, um, my big thing is, is just to continue to stretch creatively. So this year, a lot of the focus has been work, moving into voice work. I really want to continue yeah. to move forward with my writing and I want to continue to, especially like, as I get older, um, I want to step into some really powerful, um, uh, female roles and, uh, and try those on. So, yeah. Right on. I could totally see you doing that, Paige. You are um, paving this beautiful way, and I'm so excited for you and what you're up to. And keep doing what you're doing. And you know, hopefully one day we'll be in your hotel. Happy days. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Oh, thank you. That's so kind. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Yeah. And hopefully we get to see some more projects from you. And we'd love to hear more about what you're up to. So please come on back to Sidewalks and let us know what you're doing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.